What's going on everyone? Today, we are taking a look at another certified from Microsoft Teams room solution, this time from our friends over at EPOS, the Expand Vision 3T. The Expand Vision 3T is actually a bundled solution containing the front of room video bar with onboard Android operating system to run the Microsoft Teams Rooms app, and a 4K PTZ camera with all kinds of AI goodness built into it. Additionally, the 3T package includes the Expand 30T speakerphone, a certified from Microsoft Teams speakerphone that I previously did a video on, and you can find a link to that video in the upper corner of the screen right now. In this video, we're gonna do an unboxing of the device. We'll do a device overview of the video bar itself. Please reference the link in the upper corner for the speakerphone overview. And then we're gonna set up the device. And then we are going to demo using it in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Let's dig in. So let's start by cracking this box open. As you can see, we've got the Expand Vision 3T. It is that collaboration bar there. And we'll see that it does in fact come with that 30T speakerphone as well. As we crack the lid on the box, we've got our collaboration video bar right up top. We've got the 30T speakerphone sitting right here. We're gonna use this in our demo today, but again, reference the link in the upper corner of this video to see a device overview for the speakerphone itself. Coming over to the front here, we've got our cabling. This is our USB-C cable to connect the devices. This cardboard here, just filler. Then we've got the actual collaboration bar itself, which is a whole separate box to unbox. With the bundle box out of our way and just the collaboration box left, we'll go ahead and crack this open. On the far left, we've got our power supply. Popping that open, you can see all that right inside, various attachments. We've got this separate little package here, which is going to be our documentation, quick start guide, legal stuff, you know, all the usual fun paperwork that comes with devices like this. And then finally, we've got the video bar itself being held by these two cardboard pieces. We'll go ahead and remove those carefully from each side. And we've got a plastic wrap around it to protect the device. Just open the plastic on this side and carefully pull the plastic off. And that's our first look. Below the collaboration bar, we've got a couple more boxes. Right here, pop the lid on this. This is our mounting bracket and hardware. One more box right here, and this contains our remote and batteries. And finally, got a bit more cabling at the very bottom. Taking a look at all the components on the table, you can see on the far left, we've got our USB-C cable. We've got the remote sitting right next to it. We've got a USB dongle, and then that SP30T speakerphone sitting up front. Down in the bottom right-hand corner, we've got our power cable and power supply right above it. Mounting hardware right over to the left of it. And then at the very back, we've got the actual Vision 3T video bar itself. Keep in mind, this is the bundle, but you can get just the core kit that excludes the SP30T speakerphone if you've already got the speakerphone on hand or another speakerphone, for example. Taking a look at the bar up close, you've got that 4K PTZ camera right up front. Taking a look at the top, we've got some privacy features built right in with an audio and video mute button. Looking at the bottom of the device, we've got an adjustable hinge allowing us to adjust the angle of which way the device is pointing. And at the bottom, we've got that standard uh, hole at the bottom for mounting. This is where we will mount the device to the included hardware. Taking a look at the back of the device, we've got the power button on the far right. We've got an ethernet port next to that the power port as well, HDMI over on the left, USB-A port as well as a USB-C port, and finally we've got the little inset reset button sitting right at the far left. And for in-room security, let's not forget about the Kensington lock slot as well. And now for our quick and simple setup, we take an ethernet cable and plug it right into the ethernet port right there. We take the included power cable and I'm going to plug it in sideways like this so that it sits above the back here and doesn't get, that way our cable is kind of directed this way and it'll come down through the mounting hardware. We take the included HDMI cable and plug it in right here. And finally we take the USB-C cable that will connect 
the video bar to the speakerphone, and we connect that in right here. And on the other side, we've got the female end. We will take the speakerphone, put it upside down. We can see we've got a USB-C cable right here. We'll unplug that. And then with the cords unraveled, we take these two ends and connect them together. Now we've got the speakerphone connected to the video bar with a very lengthy cable that should allow us to stretch from the front of room to the center of room conference table. Keep in mind that this solution is geared toward the uh, focus room or small meeting room, so we shouldn't have too lengthy of a distance for that uh, cable to bridge the gap. And with that, we are all plugged in, ready to get this thing on its mount and power it up. One final thing I wanna take a look at is the included remote control. You can see that we've got all the usual suspect buttons on here. We've got our power button up top and that certified for Microsoft Teams button in the upper left-hand corner. We've got a mute button, an answer button, a hang up button, directional pad for our PTZ controls and navigating on screen, volume up and down, a back button, and then of course a little pointer button as well for our on-screen mouse. I want to point something out that I did not point out a moment ago when we were reviewing the setup of the device. We've got this lip right at the front that allows us to set this right on top of a monitor. You've got your adjustable hinge with the rubber grip that will hold it in place on the back of the monitor so that it doesn't adjust itself and slide around. And then on the back side of this front lip that surrounds the camera, there is a rubber grip as well, keeping it in place on the monitor and making sure that it doesn't slide around uh, as you have it placed in the right position and the right angle at the top of a monitor. And for the purposes of our video, we're gonna actually go ahead and use this method for placing the device rather than the included mounting hardware. Okay, rather than mounting this to the wall, we went the easy route and plopped it atop of a single monitor here. We've plugged it in, we see the lighting up at the top there. We've got the Microsoft Teams Rooms app already loading on the screen itself. See the EPOS logo down at the bottom. And once it finishes loading, we will be presented with the sign-in page for the Microsoft Teams Rooms app. We'll get a code here in just a second. We'll take that code over to microsoft.com slash device login, and we will get logged in. Now that we have signed in over on the browser of our laptop, we are successfully authenticated with our brand new Teams Rooms account. We're using a Microsoft Teams Rooms standard license. And we go through the regular sign-in on our Microsoft Teams Rooms for Android solution. Now we are prompted to activate the device admin app. To be honest, I'm not sure if this is something in my tenant or just part of the process at the moment, but we're gonna use our remote here, and our directional pad to come on down on the screen and say, activate this device admin app. We go through the registration process in our tenant, adding the device to the company portal, and we finish setup of the device. Almost there. Yay, we're all done. There we are, the Expand Vision 3T, running Microsoft Teams Rooms on Android. We've got our Meet Now button there. Again, using our remote for navigation, we can go down to more. We can go into our settings or mute, adjust our volume up or down. Coming over to settings, we'll see that we've got a few meeting uh, options here. We've got our meetings. Clicking on that, we've got the regular Teams Rooms on Android options. You can show meeting names, enable proximity join, and allow remote control of room system. We'll leave all those turned on. We can report an issue if we run into anything with the Teams Rooms app or the device. Uh, we can get our information about the device, you know, firmware versions, app versions, all that good stuff in the about section. And then we go into our device settings. If we go into our device settings, we've got a lot of the usual suspects in here, language, date and time settings, some display settings. Uh, you can manage Bluetooth connectivity, different devices can be attached, etc. Camera controls. So we go in here and we're actually gonna access that 4K PTZ camera on the device itself. Now, I apologize for the non-great uh, lighting that I've got going on in this particular area. I'm trying to block out some of that light coming in over to the side, uh, but I'm, it's just a darker direction coming over here. But you can see it's a pretty good angle, pretty good lens. Now, we see if we come on over, we've got 
the ability to zoom, right? We can use the directional pad to get a little more framed in. Come on down and look right, right into my face at this point. Um, we can take away some of that zoom and then we can turn on intelligent framing. So a little bit of that AI takes us back out to that wide view and then we were, we're essentially saying, let the onboard EPOS AI do its thing, detect the people in the room and frame them properly. So that is our camera controls uh, for our settings. Coming back over, you've got accessibility features. We've got debug features here, which is really just rebooting the device. About tells us all the you know, information we need about our agents and app versions and firmware. Uh, and then as we come on down to the network, you can get you know, all the network settings you could possibly want. Uh, turn Wi-Fi on or off if you want to, and then join a Wi-Fi network if you don't want to have a hardwired cable. Debug tools and admin password both require you to put in the admin password. And then we've got calling as well. Again, requiring admin password, but since we're not using this device for calling in this video, we're not going to worry about that. And lastly, you can sign out. All right, so what we're doing now is starting a new meeting on the uh, far end laptop. And we are going to leave our audio off so that we don't have the terrible feedback. We are going to invite another participant to the call. We are recording the screen on both the remote end as well as recording what it looks like to be in the room using the Expand Vision 3T. So we'll look for our new room system here. We will invite it. Now over on the far end, you see that we have an incoming call. We will take our 30T and we will answer it. And then we will mute. Just to make sure we get no terrible feedback in both directions. And as the in-room person, I've got two options for navigating on screen, or at least navigating portions of the call. I can control my audio, my mute, my volume, my answer and hang up right here from the Expand 30T. And this is where my audio and video will be coming through on the far end. I can also take the remote control and do my answer, hang up, control my volume, mute myself, and I can also navigate on screen using the directional pads right there. So if I just click anywhere on the directional pad, our meeting room options come up and I can, again, I can turn my video on or off with that, turn it back on. I could mute or unmute myself. I could take a look at participants and add more if I needed to. I can go to our other menu options and I have a whole slew of things under here that I can do, including some cool new stuff like raising hand and turning off remote controls. Then we've got our volume up or down. And finally, we can hang up the call right here from the remote control. Now, one of the things I want to demo is the AI that is built in for auto framing, right? Auto focusing, capturing the group of people that are in the room or if people shift to move around the room and readjusting to make sure everyone is captured. This is not a speaker tracking feature. It is not meant to meticulously follow people around as they walk around the room. It is meant to periodically every few seconds, check if there are changes, check where the people are and reframe accordingly. So I'm gonna take my position now. I'm gonna step back here in my messy lab and we will see that the camera will adjust after a few seconds, pick me back up, zoom on into me. Uh, the far end, we'll see that happen as well. So the camera figured out where I was or centered on me again. And after a few more seconds, it'll pick up on the fact that I've moved back over to this corner and we'll see it readjust for that as well. We again, keep in mind, this is not speaker tracking. This is an intelligent framing capturing changes every few seconds and readjusting the camera for those changes. One other thing I want to demo is the privacy capability that is built in at the very top. We called this out earlier. We've got our audio and video up here and you can see when I click this first button, we get blue lights up here and we see that we are muted on screen. So we know our audio is being blocked in a private manner from being transmitted. If I click on this back button, we now see that we've got red next to our blue and our video is prevented from transmitting. So it's effectively like having a shutter over the camera. Video is not allowed to transmit. So we unmute ourselves. The blue goes away, but the red stays in place. 
we unfreeze our camera, we now have no lights indicating that we are no longer in a private mode and both video and audio are allowed to be transmitted. Still in the Microsoft Teams meeting, I exited the video at the far end. So now it is just me still in the meeting and that's why my own video as being captured by this camera is displayed on the display in the room. We've got a little bit of that AI recalibrating, finding the most optimal view. And again, if I move around just a little bit, that's going to readjust, refine me, and, uh, and that's some of the intelligence capabilities that are built in. Other intelligence features include uh, noise canceling and the ability to track who is speaking within the room. A whole lot of AI baked into this one device. When we're finished with our meeting, we'll pull up our on-screen menu, we navigate over to the hang up button, or on the Expand 30T, we click the hang up button and we select it. So there you have it. That is the EPOS Expand Division 3T bundle. That bundle includes the actual video collaboration bar, 4K PTZ camera, and the Xband 30T speaker phone. Again, I did a separate device overview video on that, so please check that out if you're interested. You can get the video bar by itself. That is the EPOS Xband Vision 3T Core bun uh, package, not bundle, because it's not bundled. And this is a certified for Microsoft Teams room solution. I hope this was helpful. Please share it all over social media. If you're not already subscribed to this channel on YouTube, there is a very handy little subscribe button right below. Hit that, turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on other videos. Thank you for watching, and I hope we will see you back here for the next product overview video.